How would you find your way towards land from the middle of the Atlantic Ocean using a watch? In 1927, Charles Lindbergh set out to become the first man to fly non-stop from New York to Paris. Without radio or radar, Lindbergh flew using only his wits and the most basic of navigation techniques, contending with volatile weather, different time zones, and his own exhaustion. Despite limited resources, Lindbergh finally touched down in Paris, concluding a flight of over 33 hours. Determined to prevent others from the disorientating experience, Lindbergh endeavored to develop a safer way for pilots to navigate. Collaborating with Longines, Lindbergh designed the Hour Angle Watch with a feature that allows pilots to determine the hour angle of their current location and of Greenwich. Pilots could work out their latitude whilst in flight. However, to determine their exact location, they also needed their longitude. Longitude is the distance from Greenwich Mean Time. To calculate this, the hour angle equation uses the knowledge that the Earth rotates 360 degrees in 24 hours. To get the exact location, the user also needed a sextant and a nautical almanac alongside the watch. However, here, we're going to explain how the dial on the watch works. For every hour that passes, the world turns 15 degrees. The hour hand tracks this movement. For more accuracy, every four minutes, the minute hand would track the world turning one degree. This is highlighted on the outer rim of the watch. To be even more precise, one rotation of the second hand equals a 15-minute arc. A minute arc is 1 60th of a degree. Therefore, a 15-minute arc equals a quarter of a degree. This allows for measurements to be incredibly accurate. To determine the longitude, you need to take two measurements from the watch's dial. The hour angle of your current location and of Greenwich Mean Time. You then work out the difference between the two locations to get the longitude. If the number is positive, the location is west of Greenwich. If the number is negative, it is east of Greenwich. This would help give pilots their exact location. After completing this amazing feat, the affectionately named Lucky Lindy became a global hero, writing his name in both the aviation and horological history books. Although the hour angle isn't frequently used in modern aviation, the feature still exists as a celebration of Lindbergh's adventurous journey.